Hey friends, I want to tell you a little VW bus story. Yeah, this one's pretty good. So someone sent me a Craigslist ad very recently of some four-wheel drive VW buses, the Synchros, the ones I love, in Pittsburgh for sale. We got down there as fast as we could and we scrambled a, together a deal with some friends and long story short, all four of those cars are staying alive and well in the Pittsburgh area and I got the spare parts that I'd been dreaming of. Anyway, I think you're going to enjoy this story. Leave a comment below because comments show that you enjoyed this story. I love you. Well, we're off on another adventure. I've got my mom with me, so you know it could be good. That's all I'll say for now, but we're going to go look at a car. Yes. Holy crap. That's three synchros wrapped up. Four. I'm excited. I'm looking at six synchro transmissions here and trying to decide what to do with them. <laughs> uh, there are six of them. They're all in unknown condition. There's some two wheel drive transmissions. There's four buses outside. I don't know. So I found some transmissions here and there's two that I'm selecting based on, well, how would you describe my decision process, mom? Random. Yeah, yeah, we're going with totally random. We're going with the one that looks, we're going with the ones that are on the bottom. Oh, great. Yeah. So we're gonna go with the ones that are on the bottom. Now we gotta figure out a deal. Here's the first one. This is the one that's super clean underneath. I mean, really California clean. Flash silver, a little chunky there, but again, it's a donor. Pretty good. I mean, it's not all rusted out. I mean, I'd drive this car. It's not too bad. It's got an engine. It's got an interior. It's got glass, but underneath, Look at that. That is dry. That is about as good as it gets. Seriously, that is really, really good. I'm sure the front steps are roached, but they always are. That's a good looking, very good looking bus. The flash silver one here. Let me get around on the other side and take a look. It has a roof. The roof is there. Not what I in. Dash looks complete. Interior locking diff, diff panels there, all that, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, I mean, other side's just as good. It's got the gas cap. Well, that's that's a dent, but of some significance. It's got, it's got some little mud flaps. That tire comes without air, but we could, we could put some in it. Yeah, it's a solid bus, I mean. That's, that's a solid bus. Underneath is what matters, and that's a solid bus. For bus number two, it's got rust, but I've owned them worse than that. It has a broken window. It has some bumpers, some spare bumpers, a brand new bumper. It has uh, the rare black interior. Don't see that very often. It's got... 13,000 miles on it. That's actually amazing. Locking diff. I actually believe that based on this black carpet. This is, this is really, this could be 13,000 miles. Then it sat, but straightish. Hair rusty. An animal resides back here probably. Underneath, it has an engine. It has this tree. It has an entire drive line. It's pretty clean under here. A little crusty right there, but otherwise, it's not bad. I mean, it, it has this access hole, but I don't worry about that access hole too much. That tire might need to be reinflated. It's not good for highway use, but it's got a drive shaft. It looks early, look at that. This looks like an 85. I bet this is an 85. I bet this is an 85 synchro. See the see the weird mount? 
it all looks a little atypical. This is shorter. I bet this is an 85. Oh, I'm excited to see the VIN on this. It looks like the drive shaft's even thinner. That's crazy. It would make sense. I don't think the black interior was in 86. Round headlight grill. This could be an 85 synchro. Here's bus number three. It has power mirrors. It's clearly been painted white over everything. It's missing that little mud flap. It used to be black. Let's see what we've got. It has uh, missing the instrument cluster. It has an interior. It's like some spare doors. Locking diff. Underneath, we've got clean, real clean. Look at that. That's a real nice donor. Yeah. Transmission in place. Front diff in place. Typical mounts there. Yeah, that's a real nice one underneath. <laughs> that's a good tire there. Holding plenty of air. Comes with this tree. Oh, I'll take, I'll keep this. Has an engine. No bumper, no rear hatch, AC. A large Allen wrench is installed a sliding door handle on that sliding door yeah its existence is real i don't know what the other side looks like Let's go look Let's see before it cuts me off it has another side to it sliding door missing the whole track it's got the gas cap and everything yeah it exists bus number three here's bus number four it's got good paint gas cap Real arch, real arch. That's either moss growing on the carpet or it has green carpet. It has some things in it. It contains contents. In the front, it has hidden animal, some sort, been painted. Cluster's missing. There's your VIN number. Uh, that wheel arch there no wheel arch there pretty straight um what's it got in here you're missing the black dash panel that's kind of a bummer uh hopefully it's somewhere and then underneath it's it's the worst of them but it's not i've, I've owned worse cars than this it'll do this is the one that's missing a transmission, but it comes with a transmission that has a front differential. It does not have a middle prop shaft. Pretty good overall. So we're looking over this one synchro, and I'm looking at the dash, and I see this. That is a piece of electrical tape over the oil light, so that if the oil warning light is on, you don't see it because of the electrical tape. I love that. That's amazing. That's insane. This one's moving. We're getting that one too. Maybe those two. I don't know. Maybe. We'll just, just these two. It's working. Well, we got one of them up here. Kind of drove it into the ditch, but we'll deal with that later. Oh, let's go get another one. Somewhere over here, beyond all of the mud. There it is. Look at it. It's beautiful. Well, let's do it again. Take it for a spin, Nate. Give me some steering wheel. There you go. Oh yes. The branches are coming. Let's get the deep branch. Oops, look at it go. Look at it do the things. Off-road with the synchro. Ooh. Ooh. It's not so great right there. Just slide. Oh yeah. That back right wheel does not move at all. You in neutral, mate? Make sure you're in neutral. This tire doesn't move at all. <laughs> Look at it not move. It's square on the bottom. This is a, a flat style rim. These are less popular, but what it comes with is a bunch of exposed metal coils, which is also desirable. It digs in.
I would argue that that tire was not effectively on that rim. We'll put this one on. I don't know where this came from, but hey, these brake lines even look good. We got a new tire turning. That's progress. That's progress. Okay, let's go off road. Okay, now we go off roading. This is some thick mud. Like this car with these tires would not make it through this. This is some nasty. Okay, let's do the big pivot. Do the hustle. That's questionable. I'm questioning it. Yeah, I'm questioning it for sure. Hey, look at that mud. Look at it go. This is the fastest a Vanagon's ever moved. About as good as it gets right there. Yeah. All of the air has escaped. It's gone zero miles. That's fine. Okay, now we're going to take the flat tired synchro down the hill with the brakes that we, they, they I mean, they're there probably. We don't know. There's no way of knowing. How would you test brakes? You can't just test brakes. Can you? Okay, this this is how we record what's going on so that we all know this tire's flat. This we don't it probably doesn't have brakes. You can't test brakes. There's no way of knowing. And we're gonna go down a hill. So I don't know, what's the worst that could happen? At least we'll be recording it. There's a big dent in that door. I mean, yeah, it stopped. It just did that. The tire's doing real bad then. It's going funky. Hey, brakes are breaking. It's doing things. Is this a good idea? I mean, probably not. There's no way of knowing. Well, gravity does a thing. And it, it's a predictable thing. And it's, it's doing it right now. I mean, so far, no one's dead. It's got these, uh, these diamonds, free diamonds in here. What are my diamonds? going well. Uh, still no one dead. Not a single person. I mean, I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be the one that says it worked, but oh man, that rim is getting all messed up now. It's like square again. It's fine. It's no longer round, that's not great. Guys, check out this little mirror. It's it's very little. It's just what? What? Okay, so this is another bus, and then that's another bus. But I really let's not talk about that one. And we're gonna get it out of here, maybe. It moves. Give it some turns. Give it the cranks. Crank, crank, crank. Well, that doesn't suck. We're having success. It's dragging the entirety of the earth with it. It's bringing the top and everything. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? Oh. What? Hang on. That got weird. She moved sideways and stuff. There we go. Oh, that tire. Look at that tire. That's a mud terrain, too. That's got some, some tread. Go so majestic, such a majestic vehicle. So majestic. I love seeing them in the wild. Look at that tire; it just it moves in the many different planes. Look at this tailpipe. This is not stock. It goes. It should go that way. <laughs> I love it. This is ridiculous. Hey Dan, try the brakes. Okay, they're not there. That's good. You know, now we've tested them and we know that they're ruined. Someone painted this car and, uh, you know, you could make a strong argument that they didn't do a good job. Additionally, they added this pinstripe with a Hawaiian theme because they didn't do a good job. 
Okay, let's do this spin move again. This is questionable, I enjoy this. Yeah, he's gonna pull you over. There we go, spin move, woo hoo! That's a fun way of doing it. Oh, there we go, hit the stake, that's good. Look at it, it's so beautiful. Guys, look at that turd. I mean, just, it's a man turd right on the top too. I mean, difficult, impressive. I don't know how this is gonna go, but <laughs> it could get fun. We don't have any brakes and this is a hill, but hey, what's the worst that could happen? You know, I keep reminding myself, worst case scenario, it goes up off the ramp and jumps a shark. There's only one left. That has been a successful day. So what's left in here is one, two, three, four, maybe five front diffs, two transmissions, there are two synchro transmissions plus that one, but that goes with a different van. I think so. I have reason to believe that this synchro transaxle is not actually rebuilt as I was told it was. It was supposedly rebuilt and dropped during shipping. I think this is new old stock from South Africa. They continued making Vanigans in South Africa until I think 2009, or 2002, I don't remember. But So we have green paint here around the, the drain plug. Yellow paint, 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 et cetera, et cetera, which is a, in, indicative. We have a code here, 0244-009. Looks all aluminum case, very, very clean, just sat. Green paint here, yellow paint, yellow paint. This is all CAD plated, this is all CAD plated. I don't know any rebuilder that CAD plates these. It's just sort of not a thing. Um, and then we have a sticker here, which I can't quite make out yet but it looks compelling. Yellow paint, yellow paint. Came complete with a diff lock, which is brand new. Oh, you know, I don't know. I think this is, I think this is South African transaxle, maybe. Let's take a look at this other transmission I bought. This one's unknown as well. This one came, he bought this off the Samba. 2018-ish, sat around, I don't know. A couple weird things. There's a little bit of a plate here that looks kind of handmade. Oh, that's why. I didn't realize that before. The side of this uh, reverse gear carrier is broken. Ah, that's such a bummer. Darn. Okay, well, that sucks. That piece is busted. Well, I, I didn't realize that. Oh well, it's also an AAN, um, so it should have the same gearing. I think this piece is available. We can get a new one as part of a rebuild, but... Well, it seems to shift in all the gears. It's hard to say I'm spinning the end shaft because there's no input shaft in the transmission. Let's pull the, uh, let's pull the drain plug, see what's in there. So this drain plug was loose, like finger loose. So I'm curious to see. That accounts for all this leakage for sure, but... Let's see what's in here. Okay, it's a little hairier than the other one, but I'm still not seeing chunks. I don't know, it's hard to say. Kind of had a little more slurry to it, but it doesn't have any chunks. Nothing shiny, no real heavy brass wear or anything, so I don't know. I mean, it obviously has some wear on it. It's been used, but it doesn't look bad. There's nothing alarming here. Deal. As part of the deal, I got a couple of spare transmissions. Let's take a look at this one first. This one, uh, he bought off the Samba in 2018, and it's pretty unknown. I was able to actually get in touch with the guy that sold it to him, whatever that is, five years ago now. And they said it was a good transmission, just a little bit unknown. He never ran it. It runs through all the gears just fine. This is, I pulled the plug, it looks pretty nice. I mean, it's not too bad. The case is not corroded, which is important because on a lot of these, this case gets so thin up here, it can actually 
essentially corrode through, which is insane. Um, it has, it's missing the clutch mount and the cross shaft needs replaced. It's broken, but it's otherwise pretty good. It's missing one of these feet on the other side here. Little guy broke off, poor little dude. Uh, we've got a locker pin that actually moves. That's impressive. And then down here on this reverse gear carrier, it's broken. It's a little bit broken, but we can fix that somehow. We'll get creative. I mean, it's working, so this looks like a pretty good transmission overall. If you know anything about synchros, the transmission is sort of the Achilles heel. This is the weakest component, but not only is it the weakest component, oftentimes when they go bad, they're not rebuildable. So cores are getting harder to find. I've literally been dreaming of having a spare transmission on the shelf. So when an opportunity came along, I bought it. I actually bought two. Let's look at the So other. here's the second transmission, and this is kind of a real special one. We don't know a whole lot about it. You never really know. This guy, the story was this transmission was supposedly rebuilt. He purchased it off the Samba and it arrived broken. So it came with a broken tab right here. And this is how it mounts. So we will have to manufacture and weld on a new tab, but it shouldn't be too hard because this transmission is actually aluminum. Unlike that one, which is magnesium. See, this is a very late model synchro transmission. And it turns out it was made in South Africa. They made synchro Vanigans in South Africa until the year 2002, which is crazy. And they made some revisions to it. So this is an all aluminum case, way more desirable, way more rebuildable, way more durable. Uh, and a couple of ways we figured that out. There's this yellow paint on all the bolt heads, green paint here, and that's indicative of these South African transmissions. But then we find this sticker right here. And in doing a little cleanup, we were able to find a couple of words, make some of it out, but most clearly made in South Africa. That makes this a very desirable transmission, probably imported in about the year 2010. A couple of these came into the US and they sold for a lot of money. Um, they were new old stock, zero mile transmissions. This one we do know has ran because I took the drain plug out and it's got a little bit of hair on it, but it looks pretty good overall. This shifts through all the gears just perfectly. If I can rebuild that mount, this should be a very good transmission. And I also dragged home a front differential, completely unknown condition. It probably has a VC in it because there's no evidence that the bolts were e logically removed anytime soon. And uh, if I turn this, it turns the output gears. So it has a viscous coupler in it. This is a good spare, hopefully. We'll and lastly, I got this. This is actually pretty cool. It might not look like much, but I knew what I was looking at. This is more than half of a transmission. This is the main gear carrier, the pinion gear and ring gear, and the main shaft. These are the components that wear the most, and then all the actual gears, synchros, and shifters are all in here. So this is the bulk of the expensive pieces of a synchro transmission, and this should be totally rebuildable. But more importantly, this is a different gear ratio. This was out of a diesel, and this has a 5.83 ring and pinion, way more desirable for being able to run bigger tires. So I wanna do that on the red bus, so hopefully we'll get one of these boxes rebuilt with this setup, and looking over the ring and pinion gear, they're in real nice shape. Everything else is in there, some indication of wear, but I'm not an expert to determine if it's good to run, but we'll send it to an expert and they can build one of these boxes off this. And that's really exciting. That is a really good spare.